I don't believe that people truly understand the meaning of words until they've experienced them for themselves. You may know what a word means by how it's defined, but not necessarily by how it's experienced. Like for example, I personally have admired a person before, but for someone who hasn't felt that same feeling, it might be a little harder for them to describe. I believe that I've discovered the meaning of a couple words throughout my relationship with my current girlfriend, Addison Lee. I've been dating Madison for about five months now, and from my experiences with her, I believe that I can say I know the meanings of the words loneliness, admiration, fun, and love. Madison has redefined words I thought I knew and has brought out my better side. What is loneliness? I used to define loneliness as a lack of friends, but after meeting Madison, I think it's a little more than that. I define loneliness now as a lack of a person you can trust enough to open up to. I used to be lonely and during that time, I, my mental health was terrible and I was numb, but Madison came into my life and she became that outlet for me to open up to. She listens to me when I have to vent about something stupid like video games or hard school assignment and she interprets what I'm saying and always gives me a response that makes me realize that everything will be okay. Even when my emotions directly affect her, like me being stressed causing her to be stressed, she doesn't get upset with that and she listens to me. On top of that, she helps me distract myself when I need a moment to relax. There was this one day where I was just not having a good day at all. Like I was awful, I was on the verge of tears. And all Madison had to do was bring me a drawing of a frog and that just cheered up my day immediately. And those of you who know Madison probably know that she sends out daily drawings of frogs, which always managed to cheer up my day. Madison selflessly gives her time even when she's busy with friends or family, golf, Girl Scouts, no matter what, she's there for me. Whether it's talking to me or doing our favorite activities, she's there. And one of our favorite activities to do together is art, which Madison happens to be amazing at, and her art always astonishes me. What is admiration? I used to define admiration as looking up to a person. However, after meeting Madison, I define admiration as a respect and envy for the devotion an artist puts in to becoming so talented. While I've tried throughout my life, I don't ever feel I've put in 100% effort. Uh, I have resources to better myself, like a home studio or a gym membership, but rarely do I take advantage of these resources. Madison's talent, however, has made me strive to do better and like try harder. I tell her a goal I want to achieve, like going to the gym, and not only does she encourage me, but she even does those activities with me. And she always manages to make them unique and entertaining with her lively personality. What is fun? I used to consider sitting in my room all day playing video games or just being on TV to be fun. But luckily, Madison has gotten me to be more extroverted. She has dragged me out of my comfort zone to have fun that I wouldn't have had otherwise like going to football games, something I wouldn't have done if Madison wasn't in band or that she didn't want me to go. She was the only reason I went to events like bonfires, football games, parties. She was that, that person. For how shy Madison can be, I believe that she is extroverted at heart. Madison is so fun to be around, so I try to invite her to as many things as I can. Not too long ago, we went to Tehran 27, and we had such a great time. When we first showed up, uh, there was this super cool guy in like stilts, and he was tall, and this had like this super cool costume. And we were saying each other's names around like the scare actors so that they would say them. And the guy goes, Maddie, and it, <laughs> we, it was a good laugh. Uh, so I I like having that time with her and spent taking her anywhere I can. Through Madison spending her time with me, I have found affection for her and her lovely personality. What is love? Love is a word thrown around a lot. In my family, we often say as a form of goodbye, which goes to show how little words can be thought about. I remember when Maddie and I had been dating for less than a month, and I accidentally said I love you to her. She, uh, she was asking me some silly question, and I go, uh, I don't care, I'd still love you. And rather than playing it off, I committed to it and said it again. I straight up went, oh, I love you. <laughs> so, you know, she definitely taught me to care about the words that I say. Now, whenever I say I love you to her or my family, I truly mean it because I know what it means to love someone. The way I define love now is a feeling of passionate care, 
respect, and affection, and comfort with a person. Madison has earned my love because she shows that she's deserving of it. She has shown me that she's honest, loyal, caring, respectful, and just hilarious and so fun to be around. And that's why I love Madison. Madison has redefined words I thought I knew and has brought out my better side. She was there for me when I was lonely and helped me get out of that loneliness. She has shown me her talent and, and has made me strive to be better. She has brought me out of my comfort zone to have fun that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And she has spent her time with me and has shown interest in me, and from that, I have found love for her. Guy de Maupassant once said, it is the encounters with people that make life worth living. I believe that Madison's personality and her spending her time with me has made my life worth living.